want to show you how to play Turning Tables by Adele. If you want the letter notes for that, you can go to letternoteplayer.com. I've got all of the arpeggios there, the melodies, the chords, the harmonies. Letternoteplayer.com. Have it right there in front of you as you work on the piece. First thing I want to show you is the bass notes are C, A flat, F minor, and A flat again. This is C minor 7. It's a C minor. And then the A flat chord. And the F minor, minor uh, 7. Minor ninth, and then the A flat back to the A flat. Now here's the arpeggio to start the introduction. It's C, E flat, B flat. And you play that twice. Now what I'm going to do in the left hand, I'm going to go C, G, so I'm going to go. Then you go to the A flat, and I'm going to go A flat, E flat, A flat. And right with the right with the arpeggio. And when you get to the F, and here's your F minor ninth. F, A flat, C, E flat, G. All those notes are being played. So you've got So you're going to change this top note from a B flat to a G for that chord right there. to the A flat. But this time on the A flat, you're not going to play the B flat here, you're going to play an A flat. And then we end with an A flat G. So that introduction up to tempo is going to sound like this. into the melody. Now for the melody, I'm going to hit a chord here. Now what she does on the recording, if you were going to do a sing-along, you can just repeat that. But I'm going to, I'm going to have the chord because I'm going to play the melody in the right hand. So the melody is E flat, D, E flat, D, E flat, D, C. E flat, D, E, C. C, E flat, E flat, C. E flat, E flat, D, E flat, E flat, F, G, E flat, C, D, E flat, E flat, C, E flat, E flat, E flat, F, C. So we got. So you're going to go E, C minor chord. Now your C minor chord is C, E flat, G. Then we're going to go to an A flat just by changing the G to the A flat. A flat chord is A flat C E flat. And we're going to keep the A flat on top. Uh, C minor chord. And then what I'm going to do is when I get to the A flat, instead of going to an A flat chord, I'm going to go right back to the arpeggio. And then the melody will come back in on the F chord. You've got the arpeggio, a mixture of the arpeggio, a chord, and the melody. Back to the chord again, C minor chord. chorus. Now here's where with the pre-chorus we start off with an A-flat chord and we're going to go I think I'm going to play the A-flat chord right here. So you're going to go A-flat chord. Now when you go to the F minor chord all we're going to do is change that E flat to an F, and we've got the F minor. Back to the A flat chord, B flat chord. Now 
here's one of the few places you have a B flat chord in there. And then the melody for that pre chorus is C, D, E flat, F, E flat, D, C, D, E flat, F, E flat, D, C, D, E flat, B flat, D. And she sustains right there. So here it is together. I'll go slowly this time. chorus E flat B flat G B flat G G G G F A flat G E flat B flat G B flat G G G G F A flat G B E flat F G B flat I'll stop right there and then we'll go we'll put the chords with it B flat C C B flat G A flat G E flat E flat F A flat G E flat E flat E flat D E flat E flat and when she finishes that melody then she goes right back into the arpeggios and then she kind of keeps the melody going she keeps the melody going along through there as the arpeggios go but she comes right on with the arpeggios over the top of the melody now the chords are going to go C minor a flat, E flat, F minor, C flat, C minor again. Then you're going to go to a B flat and back to the F minor ninth. Da -da 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 -da. She's right there. We're going to go F chord with an E flat and then an A flat. Now it's going to be an implied E flat chord. So what's what imply in there? So if you want to play the whole chord, you can. You could go F minor chord, then an E flat chord, and then the A flat chord. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to go the F minor, E flat, A flat chord right there. So the E flat will carry it. Now I'm going to go slowly so that you can see. coming in on top of that. Now the way the timing goes, it's got so she comes right in on the top of the A flat. And and then before she gets done with that F sound, she comes in with a Finishes that out, and then we go back to the A flat. So if you're singing that, you're okay. If you're not, you're going to have to mix in the melody with the playing. So we've got. in as, as uh, however you can and kept, go back and forth with the arpeggios. Then we go to, then we're back into a second verse. Now the second verse is very similar. And uh, it's very similar. There's a little bit of a slight variation in the second verse. So all I'm going to do is show you the melodic variation, but the, the harmonic stuff is the same thing. syllable and 
then she's got a she goes up right there to G, E flat G E flat C and she kind of rolls it C and rolls it down right there so then we've got on the G G G G G G B flat G A flat G F E flat and then she goes up to a B flat at the end of that melody, it's up to a B flat, down to the E flat, F, G, F, E flat, C, G, A flat, F, with a woe at the end, and she's going to end out with the arpeggio. And then we're back to the exact identical with the... back to the identical pre-chorus and the chorus is the same. Now, after that next chorus, uh, she's got a bridge right there. Now the bridge is... I'm going to go slowly here with the bridge so that you can see... G. So you've got a C minor chord. A flat chord, E flat chord, F minor chord, back to C minor, A flat chord, E flat chord, and we're going to end with a B flat there, and then she kind of slides off of that F. So here it is, slowly, not up to tempo. it up to tempo so that you can feel it. you can end that chorus right after the bridge she goes right back through the chorus and the way you can end that chorus is just like we did before you're going to go F minor E flat A flat then go to a C minor so you're going to go to a C minor to the A flat a C minor, so we'll get and then she goes down all the way down and hits a low C. So we're holding, sustaining that C minor chord and then hit this low C and sustain it and end it. End it. So one, one more time. Turning Tables by Adele. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a fun piece to play, especially the... Especially the arpeggios. They're very fun to play. And all you got to do is start off with a C. A flat. If you want to add some other notes like she does, you got C, G, A flat, open, fifth, open, fifth.
fourth on the F. Then you've got the open fifth on the A flat again. Turning tables by Adele.